Unraveling Idioms, in a Pickle, Explained. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our fun and informative English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the world of English idioms, specifically the phrase, in a pickle. Have you ever heard someone say they're in a pickle and wondered what vegetables have to do with their problems? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's unravel this together. In a pickle is a popular idiom in the English language. When someone says they are in a pickle, it means they are in a difficult situation or a predicament. Interestingly, this phrase has nothing to do with the pickles you might enjoy in your sandwich. Instead, it's a metaphorical expression used to describe being in trouble or a complicated scenario. The phrase, in a pickle, has been around for centuries. It is believed to have originated from Shakespeare's play, The Tempest, written in the early 17th century. In the play, the character Alonso asks his jester, Trincolo, how camest thou in this pickle? Here, pickle, refers to a state of drunkenness, but over time, its meaning evolved to denote being in a state of difficulty or confusion. Now, let's see how to use, in a pickle, in everyday conversation. Remember, it's best used informally. 1. After losing my job, I found myself in a pickle with my bills. 2. I'm in a pickle, sighed Julia, I promise to help both my friends move on the same day. 3. When you forget your lines on stage, you're really in a pickle. Notice how in each example, the phrase is used to describe a challenging or awkward situation. To expand your idiom vocabulary, here are a few similar phrases. Between a rock and a hard place, another way of saying in a difficult situation. Up the creek without a paddle, in a challenging situation without any help. In hot water, in trouble or receiving criticism. And that's a wrap on, in a pickle. I hope you now feel confident using this quirky and fun idiom in your English conversations. Idioms like this can add color and authenticity to your language skills. Stay tuned for more interesting language lessons, and don't forget to practice what you've learned. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.